everyone welcome to my channel and in this video i will be doing a diy shower curtain and drape a diy window shade and what i used was a paint and strap cloth a sewing machine glue gun tassel trim scissors rod loop tape blackout cloth matching thread staple gun and corner braces i hope you stay to the end as well as through the beginning can you believe it? I have this new sewing machine. It's by Brother, and I'm just now unboxing it, and I got this back in December of 2016. My husband bought me this huge, expensive sewing machine. I couldn't figure out how to work it, so I took it back. I just wanted something simple that would get the job done. This um, sewing machine assists you with threading a needle, and it's pretty lightweight, but it's very heavy, too, at the same time. As you know, I became a big fan of canvas drop cloths because it's like a linen cotton type fabric, very doable and heavy. And I wanted something heavy to make curtains with. I didn't want anything thin or lightweight to give me, I wanted a very rich texture and it has like a linen texture to it. And this is a six feet by nine feet. Okay, so for here, I've folded over my, to, keep, to create a flap, the cloth. And I'm going to measure it and pin off both areas, the top and the bottom, because I'll be sewing at the top and the bottom. Normally, you would use a regular measuring tape for this um, method, but it was the closest thing I can find. And it was perfect because it kept it level and the fabric flat. Okay, it's time for me to thread the bobbin so that it matches the outer thread and the inner thread will be the um, same color. So that's very important that it matches your fabric also so you won't see the seams. It'll be seamless looking. And so I'm going to sew a nice little hem right across here for a tapered frame look and it also helps the fabric from moving and looking cheesy. So I am not the best sewer so I cannot give you um, advice on sewing or any techniques or teach you how to sew. I never been trained. I just grabbed the sewing machine and just started doing whatever came up in my head. Once you're done with that, you want to sew the tassels trim at the flap at the bottom. That um, well, this is the tassel for one, but I'm going to make sure that my, my the flap is not pressed against the fabric, the rest of the fabric. I want to sew that it's separate, and the hem looks good at the top that I stitched. So now I'm going to stitch the fabric and it's just going to go straight across. And you guys, to, to let you know, I did not have to cut this, drape, this drop cloth to make the shower curtains. So I'm using every inch of the fabric, which is great that I'm not wasting any, any of the fabric. You can sew right over this. It's very easy. It doesn't um, get caught in your machine or anything. And I actually love tassels. I think the tassels make the make everything look more sophisticated. When you're done with this, all you do is rip the strings that was holding the tassels um, neatly tight, and then they can be free flowing like that. See how neat that looks? You can't even tell the thread. You can't see the color. It matches perfectly. And this is what it looks like up against the curtain. Okay, so we're gonna sew some rod loop tape to the back of the curtain. Rod loop tape can be found at Walmart in this type package. I love this tape, it makes everything simplified. It's one sheet and each um, loop is attached. Everything on this tape comes together. It's like some type of strong mesh. Feels like a little screen, but softer, softer. And the loops are attached to it, top and bottom. So you don't have to do them individual. You can just sew one long strip. strip. You can also use your ring clips with the rod loop tape if you like. You know, those of you who like the ring tape, you just um, clip it to the top of the loop and therefore it won't show the hook and the, the little chain it'll just only show the circular part and i really recommend using this if you're going to make some curtains so insert a couple of pins for stability and sew it to the back of your drop cloth 
that you've already um, started sewing to as I will be doing here. Now, unfortunately, you won't get to see me, but I'm sewing from the top to and, and the bottom. So I'm, I'm, I'm sealing the top part to the fabric as well as the bottom part, one long strip. But I thought my uh, camera was in action, in, in view, but it was not. So you don't get to see me sew this through, and I apologize. But now here's the reveal and what it looks like. Bam, you know it looks good. I love it. I love it. See how the loops fit in the back. Like I said, if you want to use the little curtain rings, you could, the ring clips. And um, but I really love this the way this turned out. And as you can see, because I sewed it from the top and the bottom, that it's a nice tight fit. Okay, so I made matching window curtains also, which I did that off camera because you've already seen one in review. But now let's make a window shade insert. So, I bought this um, blackout fabric. I bought a yard of it, and it feels like rubber or leather or whatever, but it's definitely for window shades or for making heavy draperies. Um, it's definitely will, will not let any sunlight in. So, this the wooden stick that you see me holding onto or panel, it is for the insert of my window. I've already measured it and cut it to size and I'm gonna um, make the fabric so what I'm gonna do is cut this out with my window measurements for window insert and then I'm gonna cut the drop cloth I have an extra drop cloth I'm gonna cut it and I'm gonna attach the two together and sew them together to make one um, window shade to go in the bathroom window as well and See how that I pinned the two fabrics together. On one side is a drop cloth, on the other side is the, the blackout cover. So I'm gonna have to stitch this together. And this is very simple. I'm just going around in, in like a rectangular. When I'm done with this, I'm gonna immediately add trim at the bottom. And then I'm gonna um, add the corner braces so that you can um, so, I, so I can stole it into the window. See, there it goes. I have to trim. My window shade is starting to look good to me. And I'm so excited about it. And this fabric is super heavy. And it feels so expensive. It just feels high quality. It's heavy. Um, both of the fabric cloths are heavy. And it just feels like a store-bought shade already. Now, I want to be able to raise this shade when I want to because I don't want it to always be dark in the bathroom. And I know my husband likes to open the window a lot or lift the, uh, pin back the curtains. So, what I'm going to do is add some Velcro in the back of it so that I can snap it up and it'll look like a shade has actually been drawn. Now this is not the proper way to make a shade. This is my way of making a shade. And maybe you guys can probably do this as well because it is a lot easier and you still get the same satisfaction. So all I'm gonna do is flip it over and I'm gonna add some Velcro to the back. of it and this is my velcro this was like a dollar and some change and by the way that black cloth was only maybe two dollars and fifteen cents for a yard and i got it at one of our discount fabric stores both sides of the velcro has self-adhesive stick so i'm going to join the two um, pieces together tightly and then i'm going to cut them into um little um pieces and then I'm gonna stick them, peel and stick them to both sides of the fabric. Now this was pretty hard to peel it off. I had to use a pen, which made it quite you know, easy once I um, realized that that was the tool that I needed. So I have five strips. I'm gonna use all five of them. I laid them out how I wanted them to go. 
and I peel the adhesive tape off the back and off the front so that once it sticks together, you can just separate them. And then whenever you want to raise the shade, the window shade, you can just attach them together. So it folds up quite nicely. I like the way it looked and the idea worked. Um, it just came in my head, don't. And I'm just proud that it did work out for me. So when the window is hanging uh, and you want to raise it, which this is not the best of look, but I do love the way that looks. It looks just like a real shade has been drawn. The one that you have to string in the back and the loops and all the wires, but this one is a little bit more lightweight and the Velcro comes back nicely. So here is where I'm gonna add the boarding and I'm gonna pull some fabric over it. And I'm gonna show you two ways to do it. I'm gonna put a few staples in it, maybe three, and then I'm gonna glue one side. Um, the staple gun is, is probably the best, but gluing it will also be just as good. And so I glue one side down and the one side is down is a lot smoother than the other. And then you wanna roll it one more time. But this is why you need the extra length. And now I'm just gonna glue this part because when I roll it down, I want it to stick this it will not look good to have the staples on the outside because that part would be seen. If someone was to look up at your window, you don't want to see a bunch of nails or tacks or screws or staples in the in the um, window pane. So glue gun worked for me. Um, I was having difficulty issues with my glue gun. It was not melting fast enough because I hadn't gave it the proper time to heat up but it was pretty much working. And this is the gor Gorilla Wax um, that I'm using. And I'm not really fond of it as of yet because when you do put it onto, whatever you put it onto, it shows, it dries white. Okay, so now I'm gonna flip it over. But one thing it did do was, it did stay hot until I was able to get it, every bit of it covered and then I was still able to use it without having to go over it more than once with the glue. So I did like that. You will not see any glue on the opposite side. It will not come through the fabric because again, the, um, the shade fabric is so super thick and see how that looks. It's gonna hang up in the window just like that. And I'm gonna have use these um, brackets. These are brace, um, corner brace. So you're gonna screw it first to the board for each corner, because that's how it's gonna hang in the window. And then you're gonna screw the, each one to the wall once you get it up in the window, like so. And then this is gonna hang perfectly. Now, when I hang this, I hang it upside down, tight and close to the edge of the window. So this is the perfect um, shade. I really, really love this shade more than anything. I'm, I'm super, super proud of how everything looks. So now that I've got everything done, I want to show you both sets of curtains and the window shade. I wanted it to look like a wraparound curtain. So the curtains itself are just like the shower curtain and I tr did it as even as possible. And here's what the window shade looks like in the inside. I am so sorry that I'm so close. But again, you know my bathroom is super small, so this is how it's going to look. I also did the curtains the same way, the shower curtain. And now I'm gonna show you what's behind the shades. This is the bracket. Now, it looks like I'm upside down, but I'm actually looking up at the top of the cabinet, so, and straight across the window. I mean, not cabinet, but the window pane. It turned out gorgeous. I absolutely love it. So guys, tell me what you think about my curtains. And no, I'm not showing any other part of the bathroom because that is coming. The final reveal will be coming in the next two videos. I love you guys so much. And thank you so much for watching. I hope you really um, do this for yourself or for your room, any room, your kitchen, your bathroom, your bedroom, Wherever you want to do this, you can make your own shade. And yes, I want it to be the same color. I thought it looked very classy that way and, and elegant and rich and 
sophisticated and grown up and masculine and feminine, all of that and then some. So that's how I wanted it to look. I want it so neutral and plain because if I ever move or ever decide to change anything, this curtains is so neutral that I can always use them, always. Well, again, like I said, I love you guys. Thank you for watching. And don't forget to subscribe if you have not. Bye.